Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission uh, is Lyme disease health. Now keep in mind I'm not a doctor so I'm not allowed to give medical advice. I'm just going to tell you my personal experience with Lyme disease and the research that I've done on Lyme disease and the frustration that I hear when I see doctors what they prescribe or how long they prescribe the antibiotics for. Now my daughter had Lyme disease eight years ago. Um, she was six years old at the time. And she had it to a point so bad where she could barely walk and it hurt her joints and everything. And we were trying all kinds of alternative therapies. Uh, you name it, we were trying it. Um, I mean, it was just, it was, and the thing was, she would get better and be totally fine. And we'd go to do like a, a Qigong therapy or something and, and she'd be up and fine and, and perfectly fine. And we're like, wow, we, we kicked it. And all of a sudden, a month later, it just, it came back and just like, just like hit her hard again. It was like, and she was like, oh my gosh, I can't walk again, I hurt. And it was just, it was very frustrating because we do all these therapies, we would do, you know, nutrition and, and it was just, and it was fine. And then all of a sudden it came back a month later and just like, this is crazy. And we did this for like almost like nine months because we were like, it's working. And it came back again. And we went to conventional doctors, we went to holistic doctors, we went to chiropractors, we went to kinesiologists, we, and we went, we went everywhere. Herb, 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 herbologist, we were going everywhere. And I finally took her to Dr. Schrachter, Michael Schrachter, who used to be the president of the Drugless Practitioner Society. Now, I'm against medicine, um, or I should say I'm against the overuse of medicine, the overuse of antibiotics, the overuse of all these medicines. I feel a lot of those aren't necessary, personally. I wouldn't take all of them. I would try to do other things first and change the cause of it to reverse what the outcome was, okay? So, we had taken her to a couple doctors said, she needs antibiotics, she needs antibiotics. Here's a prescription for 21 days, 14 days, you know. And we went to Dr. Schrachter and I said, okay, this guy was the past president of the Drugless Practitioner Society. If he says it needs antibiotics, we'll give her antibiotics. So we went for the nutritional counseling and he goes, wow, you guys are on top of it in nutrition. You, 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 you can forego the nutritional counseling um, because they spend a good hour to two hours with you on all nutrition and what you should be eating and how foods react in your body and why you're creating disease. And he goes, you're, you, you, you know all that. I can see that you're very knowledgeable. So he sat down with us and this doctor, he actually called two or three other doctors around the country and goes, I have a six year old little girl here. I, I wanna collaborate with you on treatment for Lyme disease. Not that he didn't know, he wanted to call the experts and he called Dr. Bach, who was in Rhinebeck. He called a couple other doctors. He wanted to call experts around the country and sort of form like a little mastermind group on that. Now, I belong to a mastermind group. I'm a successful restaurateur, but there's things that I still want to get input and help and, and hear other people say. So he formed this little mastermind group on the phone and they collaborated right in front of us. And, and that's what that they came up with, you know, and here was, here's why Lyme disease comes back on a lot of people because doctors and everybody I see who gets a prescription for, for antibiotics, 21 days. 14 days sometimes, so 21 days and that's it. The way Dr. Schrachter explained it was that you need to catch all three cycles, not all three, but you need to catch three continuous cycles of Lyme disease. So they go, the Lyme goes into your nerves and it comes back out and spawns, you know, so every once a month, which is why my daughter was experiencing symptoms once a month and would go retract itself back into the nerves and then come back out again and manifest and reproduce. So you need to get three full spawnings of Lyme disease to kill it effectively. 21 days is barely gonna get one cycle. You're gonna have to other stuff left, small pieces left of the Lyme, small you know, organisms left that are gonna get back in there and may cause damage, may come manifest, may come back a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. So the way he explained it was three full cycles and I always tell people, man, here's my personal experience with Lyme disease. Knock on wood, my daughter, it's been eight years, has not had any relapses. No relapses whatsoever. Eight full years later, she's an active girl. She rides horses, she runs, she does CrossFit. Um, she's very active. No aches, pains, nothing. And I can only think, what if I did the same route again of 21 days of antibiotics, just like we were doing other therapies with her, and it was fine, and then we stopped the therapies, right? We totally stopped the therapies. I'm thinking, well, what if I did three months of continuous therapy with us? Because it's just, it's, it's just what you know now and what you knew back then. So I'm just trying to share my personal experience. And keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not allowed to give medical advice. I'm just telling you my personal experience uh, with Lyme disease and how frustrated I am when I see that doctors are still just giving 21 days. And then I see all these people with, with 
damage or, or side effects, not side effects, but relapses. They're getting relapses down the road. A month later, uh, a year later, two years later, three years later, I've heard all the time how people have gotten relapses. And the first thing is, how long do you take the antibiotics for? And not nearly long enough. So, now of course, if you take antibiotics, Dr. Schrachter and, and as well as a lot of other, other health experts recommend that you take tons, tons of probiotics while you're taking the antibiotics so you can replenish. So there's a whole thing with that. So I'm not advocating go out and take antibiotics. I'm just telling you my personal experience, that's all. And if this video helps one person, you know, be able to get the right information and ask their doctors the right questions, it, it, it's worth it. So I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on.